Close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Try not to leave it. And if the mind does want to wander off someplace else, remind it, you're here to develop a skill. You're not here to just wander around. You want to make the best use of your time, because we don't know how much time we have. Aging, illness, and death keep chewing away at us. They're coming in our direction. How far away they are, we really don't know. But like that sign they have in the rearview mirror, they may be closer than they appear. So ask yourself, what are the good things I need to do right now? There's a question the Buddha has you ask yourself every day. Days and nights fly past, fly past. What am I becoming right now? And what you're becoming is based on what your actions are. What are you doing right now? Is it something you'd be proud to say to the Buddha? Yes, I'm right now I'm developing concentration, I'm developing virtue, I'm developing good qualities. Or are you just shilly shallying around? We're going to get the mind in shape. And heedfulness is the best way to motivate yourself. All skillful qualities, the Buddha said, come down to heedfulness. Realizing that your actions make a big difference in the way you're going to live right now and on into the future. And so you want to be careful about how you act, what decisions you make, what decisions you don't make, are going to have a big impact. Right now you've got the opportunity to practice. It doesn't always come. Last night I was reading a talk by John Fuang. He made that comment. It's not the case that we have always have the opportunity to, to practice. As part of a what was projected to be a series of talks, he was going to give at Wadasokara once a week. And the week after he gave the talk, he fell sick and he couldn't give any more of the talks. So illness can, can hit at any time, get in the way of the good we want to do. So focus your goodness on areas where even when the mind, even when the body is ill, the mind doesn't have to be ill along with it. Otherwise, you can maintain your equilibrium, you can maintain your equanimity. So you can see things with discernment and use your discernment to make sure you don't suffer from the inevitable things that are going to come. As that passes where the Buddha says, you remember every morning when the sun rises, this could be your last sunrise. Are you ready to go today? The answer usually is no. Okay, what do you need to do? Do that. At night when the sun sets, this could be your last sunset. Are you ready to go tonight? No. Well, if not, what do you need to do in order to be ready? Those questions help focus you on what's really important. They're not meant to make you discouraged or depressed or to give up on your worldly affairs, but just to make sure that you focus your attention on what's really important in life as a state of your mind. Because the work you do for the world will not come in and help you when you're about to pass away. What will help you are the, are the good qualities you've got in your own mind. So learning how to be persistent, learning how to be diligent, that part of the work of the world will help. In other words, whatever you can do to develop good qualities in the mind, keep at it, keep at it, keep at it. And use the concentration to give you the energy that allows you to keep at it. So someday when the question comes, are you ready to go, you can say yes, no problem. And then however much life you have left to you won't have any suffering at all. That's the Buddha's promise. So follow his instructions and see if the promise is true. <laughs>